So, Timmy, how far away do you say your cousins live? Hmm. So it'll be a while. Sishka! <laughs> I believe that's 5 0 now? Pay the man! <laughs> yes, come to Papa! <laughs> You know why the road and the fence are moving faster than the cow and those trees back there? It's because of the parallax effect. A displacement or difference in the apparent position of an object viewed along two different lines of sight. <sighs> that is a mouthful. In English, this means that as you're moving, whatever is closer to you seems to move faster than whatever is further away. And I know what you're thinking, Timmy. How does any of that relate to animation? Well, for that, we have to look at this example. The left shot is just a flat background, while the right one has been split into layers and animated with the parallax effect in mind. See the difference? Now, I'd like to tell you I figured this all out by myself, but the truth is, animators knew about the parallax effect way before I was even drawn, and they knew that simulating the parallax effect in their animations would give it more life. But they just didn't have the technology back then. The solution to this problem came in 1937. Walt Disney Studios developed the multiplane camera. With this device, they could mount and shoot different layers of a background moving at different speeds, creating the illusion of parallax effect. It took a whole crew to operate the multiplane camera. One person would sit at the top, overseeing the scene and taking the shots, while the others would mount the layers onto the camera and move them accordingly. These layers, by the way, are glass frames painted with oil. So, one slip and you could lose hours worth of work. When all the layers were in position, the guy at the top would give the OK and take the shot. This process was repeated hundreds of times in order to animate the opening scene in Bambi. Yes, technology has come far since 1937. What took a whole crew a bunch of hours to do can now be done by one person with a computer in a few minutes. Don't get me wrong, animation as a whole is still very hard work. Ask our animator, I mean he's using very limited animation, close to an animatic if we're being honest, and it still takes him a week to animate one episode. Anyway, looks like we'll still have a lot of road ahead of us. Until next time, I'm Platanos, he's Timmy, and this is Monkey Ranch.